Thanks for joining us on episode three of Building a Vlog Filter. In this episode, we will walk you through installing the lining and plumbing into the box. We used leftover lining from the pond renovation. Once you get the liner roughly placed inside the filter box, you will need to spend a bit of time smoothing it out, getting it tight into all the corners and neatly folding the ends. Once you have the liner roughly positioned, you can mark it and neatly trim the holes for the bulkhead fittings. Take your time here to make sure the holes are cut very accurately. If you're off by just a little bit, the weight of the water can pull on the liner and cause leaks later on. Here we will use the custom 3D printed wrench to tighten the bulkhead fittings in place. The bulkhead fittings are reverse thread from our perspective, so you'll need to remember lefty tighty, righty loosey. Once installed, they will lock the liner in place on the one side. This will allow you to do a final fitting of the liner and finish all of the folds on the ends. Be prepared to spend some time on the ends as they take quite a bit of monkeying around to get them cleanly folded. In the process, you'll need to trim away excess liner as you go to make it easier to create crisp folds. Having an extra set of hands at this stage of the installation will make it a lot less frustrating. Once you are happy with the placement and folding of the liner, you can move on to the installation of the plumbing manifolds. Okay. 
We started by priming and gluing the two reducers, also known as bushings. Then we moved on to installing the manifolds as we mentioned in episode two. Here's where we show you the configuration of the two manifolds to distribute the water evenly throughout the filter. Once the plumbing is in place, we moved the filter to its final location and connected it to a temporary pump to fill the filter and check for leaks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss episode 4 where we walk you through the installation of the filter media and the bog plants.